Hi guys, today in this video I will be showing you the best trick how you can connect your frontend with backend. If your frontend is made using React, backend is made using Express or Node.js, then how you can easily connect it? I will tell you each and every step. And if you have not subscribed my channel till now, then please subscribe for this kind of coding related videos. I will be also providing you the GitHub link if at any moment you think like you have stuck at some place, so you can refer this complete code here. I will give the link in the description. So let's start the video. I have opened my VS code and here there is nothing now. I will first create server folder. I have created a server folder. Then what I will do, I will click on these three dots and click on the terminal and click on new terminal to open the new terminal. Then I will write here npx create react app and app name is client. Let it be installed. I will just click on this plus mark. Then click on, then I will go to this directory. So I will write cd server. Once it entered to the server, then I will write npm init for initializing the node npm init minus y to answer all the questions okay once you got this one this one then you can open this server once you will open the server here you can see a package.json is there okay so this package.json contains one main file that is index.js which is written but we don't have here index.js so you need to create inside the server folder where we will have all our node code which will be the main file and to run this file we should have a script so i will give a comma and then i will write start so it will be our start script node index.js so what it will do when i will run npm start it will go to this start and run this node index.js command to run this file we need it okay to writing the start script we need to create a basic application of this express to demonstrate how you will create a connection so for that right now you can see i am in the server directory okay so in the server directory i will install two libraries that is npm install express i will do and then course See, Express is a library which is required whenever you are creating a Express application and course is required for cross origin resource sharing. When you are trying to share your resources with one place to another place, at that time course is needed. Okay. So, these two are installed. Then you can see node modules is there. So, now what you need to do is to just, here you can see index.js. I am working right now in this index.js. I will first require const express equals to require express. Then I will require course. Once these two are done, then I will also create const app equals to express. Then here what I will do, I will write app dot listen, which will accept a port. So I can create a port here. Let us assume the port is 8000 and it will take the port. Then a function telling uh, something like console.log server running at port 8000 so we need to use the course so for that you need to write app dot use course and you need to call that function okay that's it and you can route some write some of your routes like app dot get on first endpoint request and response argument will get and there what i will do i will get response dot send will only send server initial page and then I have one more route I will add it will be data it will send JSON object and inside that JSON object we will have products and it will contain an array of products like product one I'll just copy this product one give a comma and just paste it four times just write product two product three and product four so I will have four product inside this response.json object and this is what I am sending. Let me run it to check whether this is running or not. npm start. npm start will now run because I have already written that script inside that start uh, inside the here for which it will run. This script is already mentioned start script. So npm start I can do. If you have not written this line, so it will not run. So our backend part is done. Let me go to frontend and try to connect this frontend. But note one thing at the time of connection this backend should be running that thing you should have in your mind so right now you can see our front end is already installed so you can do cd client to go into client directory and to run it you should write npm start so it will show you the initial application of react but we don't need that so we can delete the unnecessary things so that we can write our code so this are not necessary so we can easily delete it once the deletion of that files are done then here we can remove the unnecessary things of the react which are not needed right now for a basic application okay so initially i have created a index file and there i will also have one app.js then i will use this and 
syntax for creating a component and here in this component i will have two things two hooks i will use that is use state and use state is for storing the data and use effect is for loading the data at initial phase means i will be using it for that purpose here so at initial stage what i will do i have to load the data and also i need to store the data somewhere like const products data set products data which will be initially a empty array and will fill this data in the front end what you need one more thing you need that is first of all you need to open a terminal again then here i need to go inside front end that is client and then i will install axios why axios is used because axios is used for the request fetch when you are getting some data from the back end or you are posting some of the data for doing any card operation with the back end you need a library axios actually it is not mandatory to use axios you can also use fetch request that is also fine okay but for easy purpose i am using npm install axios so that i can show you so i will also import it import axios from axios so after calling this axios i can use this axios here and write axios dot get and mark a very important point here that get request here will take the url means if you'll open your application right now you can see the front end is running here so the back end is running or not you need to check that we are running on the local host and the port if you remember we have given 8000 so you can see server initial page that means the first route is running in the second products we are saving inside slash data you can say we are getting all these products that means the url what we will be using in the front end that is also the same okay so you need to go to front end again here you need to write http double slash local host colon 8000 slash data this will fetch what this will fetch the data what is present on that and then we need to have a then if any response we are getting it from there then we need to set the products data to response dot data dot products why i have done response dot data dot product i will console and show you console dot log response dot data because response dot data will contain this whole data and inside this whole data there is a ob object that is a product is a key which contains the array of all the products so for that reason i have written response data dot products if any error comes at this point while doing getting the data then it will have an error then again console dot log of error okay so this is a very simple code let me see that i am getting the data on console logger now yeah i am getting the object and this is response dot data and inside the products key we are getting all the products so for that reason i have written here response dot data dot products to get all the products and set it here so now after that is seted so we can show this products data here so for that what we need to write we need to write a condition that if product data is present and product data dot length is greater than zero that means initially we have product data which is empty that means the length is zero so at that case we should not show if the product dot length is greater than zero then what we need to do we need to write product data then we need to map it what map we will get the product name or you can simply write the element and the second index of the map uh, second element of the map is index then what i will return i will return a simply a paragraph which will have a key and key will be the index and this paragraph will have the text of element and this is for the if condition if this is there then do this and the else condition will be just so loading okay so this is what i need to show and i can give here some css styles if i text the line it would be center and font font size will be 42 pixels it will work let me show you so you can see the products are fetched and right now we are showing inside react application you can use this data to do any kind of so you can use this data to show any kind of ui right now i am working with a very simple data that is product but you can send any data instead of this data you can have you can show any data at that place okay but this step you need to use at that time first of all it needed to be running your application backend should be running and you should use this app dot use cross origin for resource sharing okay then the endpoints try to access that endpoints directly in your browser like this means local host 8000 and then try to give the endpoint and try to see if it is giving at that moment only you can use that same url like what i am using it here this url exactly same what i am getting it here okay so similarly you can also use so if in this video all your doubts are cleared then please subscribe the channel like the video and share with your friend who are very confused how to connect react front end and node backend or express backend that's all for today guys thank you for watching